Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and we are in Los Angeles, California at the Society of Thoracic Surgeons Conference. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Craig Baker, who is the Chief of Cardiac Surgery at the Keck School of Medicine at USC in Los Angeles, California. Dr. Baker, you and I have known each other for a very long time. It is great to see you here. Great to see you, Adam. Yeah, so at SDS, there's lots of data coming out, research, you're giving talks, and at the same time, we're getting questions from patients all over the world about heart valve disease. This one comes in from Catherine, and she asks, Hi, Adam, I'm 73, and I have moderate aortic stenosis. I was told that I can get a replacement only when the stenosis is severe. I have been tired for months. Both my parents died from heart disease. Why do I have to wait? Well, that's a great question, Catherine. It is true that when we look at guidelines to treat valvular disease, it generally focuses on people with severe disease. And people with severe disease oftentimes are symptomatic, but then even patients that are asymptomatic, there's criteria such as your ventricular function, response to exercise that we will operate on. I think the first thing I think about, Catherine, is it's unusual, not impossible, to truly have symptoms with moderate disease. So the first question is, are your symptoms absolutely attributed to that valve? And have you actually undergone the proper testing? Because some people that appear to have moderate disease may end up having more severe disease if they exercise test, if they measure gradients on an angiogram. I would recommend that you talk to your cardiologist Make sure you've had really a comprehensive workup that shows if you're really moderate or severe. And then look into make sure that your symptoms are clearly attributable to the valve. Maybe there's coronary disease or another cause for the symptoms you have. Wow, super helpful. Catherine, I hope that is gonna give you some comfort and direction in terms of your next steps. And Dr. Baker, on behalf of Catherine, on behalf of patients at heartvalvesurgery.com and patients all over the world, thanks for everything you and your team are doing in Los Angeles, California at USC. Thanks for being with me today. Thank you, Adam. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.